dugsiga boarding ka iyo maalinlaha ah ee amano amano boarding and day so this is um, the first real life problem where convection takes place uh, there are convection currents here during the circulation of uh, hot water and cold water this is the explanation <clears throat> the points we need to know they are very clear what I've just said it's written here uh, the water in the boiler is heated and uh, we said using an immersion heater a heat exchange coil or a gas burner some people they use charcoal to heat the water in that uh, uh, <coughs> burner in that boiler sorry you can use charcoal you can use there are many things you can use any fuel you heat up the water that water will expand it becomes less dense and then it rises I think we are aware from our previous lesson that these are the marking points for this kind of a question convection currents you hit the fluid it expands becomes less dense and then it rises then <clears throat> the cold water which was in the tank in the loft in the cistern falls down to f fill the uh, the place initially occupied by the hot water and then the cycle continues we also said there is an overflow pipe for cases of expansion and uh, that kind of thing hmm? so uh, these are the points and then the hot water tap uh, from the overflow pipe must be lower than the cistern tank to create a pressure difference so we need that to be uh, lower okay. the second application of uh, <coughs> convection currents is in an electric kettle in this electric kettle you're seeing here there is knowledge of convection first and foremost this heating element what you're seeing here must be placed at the bottom okay so that's the first point I'm making here that the heating coil has to be at the bottom the reason that we place the heater at the bottom is to create convection currents so here uh, when the water the bottom heats up it expands becomes less dense and then it will rise so this water will rise okay when that hot water rises the cold water which is denser at the top will fall So in effect convection current is created and then this water will heat up uniformly okay if you make a mistake <coughs> of placing the heater at the top you will not have any convection currents so you will only heat the water at the top and the water at the bottom will remain cold so the logic here is that to create convection currents the heating coil must be placed at the bottom and then uh, when heated uh, those steps happen hmm? uh, another application is um, in the air conditioner now remember for heating we said the heating element should be down to create convection currents when you need cooling you must place the cooler at the top so that's why you see in buildings usually the air conditioner is raised up 
Now, when the air conditioner is raised, what happens? Let me make a rough sketch here. So let us say this is the front side of the air conditioner which is raised up. So what happens is that there is a fan which blows out the cold air. So that cold air, because it's very dense, it will, will fall. Will go down. When the cold air falls, because it's denser, the warm air which is less dense, will rise. And then it takes up more air to cool it. Then the cycle continues. So this uh, air conditioner, the AC, will end up cooling the whole uh, house or room uniformly by applying knowledge of convection currents. <coughs> so the explanation is here. I have explained those things, but just to arrange your points, you can uh, follow this. What about a refrigerator? There is a lot of knowledge of convection in this uh, refrigerator. In a refrigerator, if you have observed, the coldest part is usually at the top. So even this one, the freezing unit, is placed at the top. It has a similar <coughs> uh, mechanism of operation like the air conditioner. So the freezing unit, let us say it's this one here, must be at the top. And it's placed at the top to create convection currents. Now, uh, <coughs> When this air here cools down, okay, when that air cools down, mm, so the cold air becomes denser. First of all, it contracts, becomes denser, and then it will fall. So the cold air here falls. You can see these arrows showing that the cold air comes down. Now. <clears throat> the warm air at the bottom of the refrigerator will rise. To recap, uh, to, to summarize uh, our discussion, we are saying <clears throat> uh, the refrigerators, they make use of convection by creating convection currents. Usually, um, the freezing unit is placed at the top, so the air here contracts, becomes very dense and falls, while the warm air, which is less dense, rises, and this circulation of air cools up uh, the whole system. In the interest of time, we will uh, stop here and continue from number five in our next lesson.